Well, hi there and welcome to another quick tip. This quick tip is all about green screen footage inside of Premiere Pro. So let's get started with my student Lotte over here. And Lotte needs to be in a different background, a different scenery. And it's gonna be this black and white picture. So that's basically the idea. So let's start with a new sequence. Hit new sequence. There we go. And I'm gonna focus on a 1080p 25 frames per second uh, sequence in order to upload it uh, onto YouTube. And let's get a uh, lot on video track number two. Uh, there is a difference between the settings of the footage and the settings of the sequence. I want to keep the existing settings because I want the 25 frames per second sequence. There we go. Let's zoom in a bit with this scroll bar, zoom bar, there we go. So Lotte is on uh, track number two. And of course I want to uh, rotate her a bit. So let's select the clip, effect controls, and do a minus 90 degrees rotation. There we go, something like this. A double click on the footage to uh, reposition her. There we go. And maybe uh, scale her down a bit. Something like this. Okay, this is good enough for now. So this is the basic setup. I want to get rid of the green screen and of course the little uh, the little corners down below. So let's find the keying effects. So I'm going to go to effects and search for something to do with keying. And the ultra key is the best option because it's ultra, so it's really powerful. Um, and um, when I drag and drop it on top of my footage, nothing happens because it's uh, uh, well the color is not selected yet. So I need to pick the eyedropper and select a nice green color, something like this. And when you are not sure which color to pick, uh, you can hit the Control or Command key on the Mac, and that will make the eyedropper a bit bigger. So something like this, and now all the green footage is, uh, is gone, uh, but there are still some mistakes which I need to get rid of. So this is the default setting, uh, which is not too aggressive. We can continue on going to aggressive, uh, which makes it uh, a bit better, but maybe a bit too, uh, too aggressive because there are some lines in there that I don't like. So let's go back to relaxed again, or maybe the default. It's always good to check the settings, uh, maybe something works. Okay, let's continue on opening the matte generation. Um, when I play something, uh, play a bit with the transparency, a bit of the backdrop will disappear. I can go to the pedestal, which will do a magic trick as well. Something like this. Always make sure you don't go, go too far. And let's bring down the highlights a bit. Now this looks like something that we can work with. So now let's uh, uh, get rid of the uh, the areas down below as well. And that's the thing that we do with our mask. It's tempting to choose uh, these masks underneath the ultra gear, um, but that will give a wrong result. So when I make a mask, it will uh, show the area around it again. Um, so this, this, this won't work. What you need to do is make a mask for the opacity. So when I now make a, a rectangle, it will do the trick. So everything outside of the rectangle is transparent and the green screen footage has been made transparent because of the ultra here. So this is something that works. Oh, it's not completely a rectangular selection that I need to have. So probably I will need to make a little bit more space. So I'm adding some control points. There we go. Now all we need to do is uh, add some footage on video track number one. And there was the picture. So the picture on video track one, make it the same length. There we go. And of course we can reposition that uh, picture as well. So let's kill it downwards a bit in order for it to fit, maybe something like this. Now, of course, Lotte is in, in color and not in black and white. So now what I want to do is uh, go into the color tab over here, the color interface, the color workspace, 
Um, and let's get rid of the saturation. So I'm going to go for the uh, basic correction over here. And when I lower the saturation, I will dial out all the color and it will make it a, a black and white image. And maybe I need to uh, fiddle a bit with the blacks to make it really black and white in a way that it will fit with the rest of the image. Okay, so this is a way to, uh, to work with uh, the green screen footage inside of Premiere Pro, making use of the ultra gear and some masking options to make it all work. And of course, now you can export your video and publish it on YouTube or wherever you'd like. See you again in another quick tip. Bye-bye.